Hello, this is John Hedger, and I want to welcome you to Lesson 1 of Beginning Rock Guitar, Book 1, Level 1, Lesson 1. And what I'm going to do is start right into the page 6, Right Hand Warm-Ups 1, on the 1st, 2nd, and 3rd strings. So we're just doing three strings, and I'm starting with number 1, which is actually the second line from the top. The top line is just a demo. You don't need to practice that. But right below that it says exercise number one. And we're just going to go right into it. And then I'm going to talk about holding the pick and the technique after I play through the exercises. Because if you want to play along with me, you're probably going to want to go to the beginning of the video and just play it and we'll play together. Okay? So no, no more talking. I'm going to play it. One, two, ready, play, plant, play, plant, beat three, four, plant on the next string. Third string. Catch it right in the wedge between the thumb and the pick. Back to the second string. Repeat. Back to the beginning. Tell me, is this the most exciting thing you've done all day? <laughs> We're just waking up, waking up the fingers, warming up. Back to the second string. And then ending on the first string. Stop. So now I'm doing number two. Ready, go. One, two, plant on the second string. Plant back on the first string. Plant on the third string. That was number two. Now we're going to do exercise number three. And you want to plant just as in the same exact rhythm, even though at the end of this exercise you're only playing once on each string. So ready, go. Plant, play, plant. Always think about anticipating the next string.
Okay, so that's the end of page one, uh, right hand warm ups on the first, second, and third strings. Now, to talk about the technique a little bit, and I've got other videos on picking technique, but I want to review it here. Um, you want to bend your finger as if it's like three sides of a square, like this. And um, then the thumb kind of encloses over top of it to where the finger is flush with the bottom of the thumb. You can see that. It's just flat. Now, if you can't bend your finger that squarely, it's okay. But just make sure the tip of your finger does not stick out under the bottom of the thumb. You want it just flush with the bottom of the thumb. Now, if I bend my finger like that, I'm going to put the pick on the side of the finger, and I'm going to tuck this top part of the pick up into the fleshy part of, of this big joint of my finger. And it's also on the side of the first joint. And then the thumb closes over top of it, so it's kind of tucked in there really well. And you can see there's just, you know, maybe a quarter of an inch of pick showing under the thumb. And about where my thumbnail comes out of my thumb, that's around where the center of the pick is. So you don't want the pick too far up front like that, to where you see a lot of pick in front of your thumb. And you don't want it way back here, because then you won't have a really good grip of it. You want it to be centered to where, like if you wiggle your thumb, you feel like you've got it, you're holding the pick very securely, you know? And some players will wiggle their thumb a little bit when they play, but we're not going to really do that so much with this technique. Now you want to focus on the front wedge of the pick where the thumb and the pick cross. There's a little wedge or a little point, a corner. I call it the wedge. And um, like if, if I have this rubber band is a string, I'm planting the pick or coming at it caddy corner where we're really plucking with the edge of the pick. You hardly ever would want to hit the flat part of the pick squarely on the string. You want to use the front edge and catch it right in that wedge so my the skin of my thumb is making contact on top of the string at the same time the pick is making contact behind the string. And so I'm catching it right in the corner of the wedge and the thumb is going to be rubbing the top of the string and that gives you a sense of security. So you, you can feel what you're doing because you can't feel through the plastic of the pick. So you catch the string right in there and then it's good to push the string down toward the belly of the guitar a little bit when you pluck and then stroke the string. It's like petting your cat, you know? You wouldn't pet your cat like that, you know? Maybe a toddler would, you know, but, uh, you know, we'd stroke the string, stroke the cat like that. Okay, so um, you'll plant, play, plant, and the planting helps to reinforce that we have found the string and then we're going to play it. So when you plant, you come to a dead rest and then you play. And you don't, you want the planting to be equal time of the note ringing. So it's sort of like tick, tock, plant, play, plant, play, plant, play. When you stroke the string with your pick, you want to go out around with your wrist. It's like stirring a can, a can of paint counterclockwise. So you go around like one stir. <laughs> And then you come back and plop down on the string. You want to learn to just find the string by feel. And my skin and my thumb is always making contact. And that way I don't feel like I got to do this with my fingers or do this with the heel of my hand or put my hand at the bridge. I'm making contact right on the string. The pick is kind of tucked into the top of the finger like that. So that's the basic technique. 
Um, it's really important to pay attention to these details. And for this, these exercises we're planting, but when we play the actual riffs in the book, you, you can let go of that. You don't need to plant. Uh, while you're doing the riffs, you're going to be coordinating the left and the right hand. And so you, you don't have to play, plant, play, plant on the riffs. Just on these warm-up exercises. Okay? So have fun with that. And uh, I'm going to do ex you know, exercises 4, 5, and 6 in the next video, at the beginning of the video so that you know you can find it easily and practice right along with me there so don't forget to subscribe to john hedger guitar studio and like my facebook page also called john hedger guitar studio and this is the beginning of book one it's real basic stuff warm-ups are very important and you want to do these warm-ups every day do them daily, and they will help your picking to where you won't have to think about it. You can just, your hand kind of automatically knows where the strings are, and you can judge the distances between the strings. So warm-ups are very important, especially when you're developing the technique, when you, you know, you're just beginning with technique, and you don't quite have it down yet, you really have to do these every day. And then um, after you get to know the technique really well, then you can warm up more quickly, possibly. So keep that in mind. We'll see you in the next video. Have fun with this.